All right, so I'm, I'm gonna make this video real quick, real quick, because on this video I just made, I had an 80 by five, or well, 80 by 10 on that unit that went out. So I don't know if I exp explained it good what I was doing in the video uh, when I was recording it at the house. But I'm gonna use this for example. This is a 50 by five. In this case you run into this out in the field. Uh, those that don't know, I, I kind of know, know how to do it. When I was in the field, I should have put the meter on there and showed you that I, when I converted it to a 10 for the fan, I was getting the 80 by 10. So uh, like I say, this this is a 50 by five. And so let, let's just act like we was at a unit and it had a 50 by 10, but you didn't have a 50 by 10 in your truck. You only had a 50 by five and a five. So you're gonna make a 50 by 10. So that's, that's what I was doing uh, with the 80 by five I had. Do this a 50 by five. So this time I'm just gonna show you on the meter that I was actually getting a 80 by 10. But we're gonna do it on the on this 50 by five right here. So I'm, I'm gonna um, use this UEI meter. I got it on microfarads. And first I'm gonna I'm gonna we're gonna show that we have 50 by five on this capacitor right here. Let's see if I can turn the light on. So this is a 50 by five. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to Herm and Common. And you see I got 48 by two. That's 48 by two. So plus or minus, I think about 6%. I think they give you plus or minus, yeah, 6%. So that's still good. Use our calculator. So I'm gonna do 48 minus, I'm sorry. I did that on one of my video too. You wanna start out with the, uh, whatever this capacity is. So if it's a 50, you wanna put that in there, 50. This ain't what this video about, how to check them, but anyway, 50 minus, like I said, they give you 6%. So you just put in your calculator 6%. And long as it's above 47, long as it's above 47, that uh, the cap is good. So we got 50 minus, let me get, see if I can get that in the cam also. So we got 50 minus 6%. No, it really don't show good. Let me see here. See if I can zoom in a little bit. There we go. Well, I know you can't probably, probably can't see that. Well, but anyway, 50 minus 6% is 47. And we got a uh, 48.1. So that, the capacity is good. I mean, it's brand new out the box. I wish it was, wish it was a 50, but. So I'm gonna go to my common and fan, which should be five. So common and fan, I got 6.4.6. I got 4.6 and uh, min minus uh, 6% on, uh, on a 5 minus 6% I got 4.7 so that's kind of borderline this, this, this is a jar it come, come right out the box I mean but I got a, I got a 4.68 I think I got my fluke meter too we, we can uh we can test it on the flu meter also. Like I said, I'm trying to get used to this UEI meter. Say hold it for the light. So I got 
I'm just gonna round that off and say it's uh, 4.7 though. It's 4.65. That's what I'm getting on, getting on the meter. But it's, it's, like I said, man, it's brand new. 4.65. Just for good, I'm, I'm gonna pull out the fluke and see what the fluke, fluke says. It's supposed to be a real short video. I didn't want to turn it long. Well, this part of it supposed to have been short anyway, but we want to make sure we're doing the right way, though. All right. So we're going to see with this meter, what the capacitor reading on this meter right here. So I'm missing my black, uh, black alligator clamp, so I'm gonna have to hold it on one of them. So let's see what this. So I got my fan right here. Then I got. Can you see what well, is me to read? Four point nine. Let's hold it. I don't know if you can see that, but the fluke, the fluke reading four point nine. I was checking the capacitor for, uh, with that UEI the first time. I was, I was troubleshooting the unit. I was thought I was getting kind of an off read on it. I'm gonna take that out whole. Make sure we're in the shot. So you see, from Herm to Common on this one, the flu flu picking up a 49.8. Like I said, I'm just getting that UEI meter. I know I bought my paid a thousand dollars for this meter right here, this fluke. So I, I mean, I trust it a little more. But let's go from uh, let's go from the common to the fan and see what we get. See, I'm reading 4.9 on the UEI. I was I'm reading 4.7. Yeah, I need not. I'm gonna go. I need to go buy me another alligator clamp. But it's the fan right here though. There's the fan I read 4.9. Ready for a five. So <clears throat> this right here is a five. Five Michael Fair. Should have put another lens on this thing. That lens there, that's a 55 and 250 millimeter, too strong. But anyway, that's a five Michael Fair right there. I don't know if you can see that. So that's a five Mikey Farad. This not this not supposed to be a a, a meter contest, but we're gonna see what we're getting on the UEI on this one. It's supposed to be a five. Let's do the fluke first since I already got it out. So. So I'm reading 5.03. Let's see if I can turn this thing around so I won't have to keep doing that. See on the flute, I'm reading 5.03. All right, let's see what we're reading on the UEI. It's a brand new capacitor. Both on right out the box. It's the first choice. I get those from Linux. This jar. Brand new. I think I got that from Century. Okay. See the UEI reading 4.7. See that? Turn the light on. Reading 4.7. So. No. No, I mean, at the end of the day, it ain't reading, reading too far out, but. All right, so anyway, this is what I was doing in the video. Remember, I had the jumpers, so I'm just jumping it out. I'm finna make that a 10, just on the fan. Cause I wanna keep, I wanna keep the, um, I wanna keep the 50. 
but I want to make the fan a 10 because it act like the compressor need a 50. The compressor need a 50. And the, uh, let me see that. And the fan need a 10. See that 50 by five. And this other one is a five, so. It's overkill there. Sorry about the video. I'm just trying to show you. Well, anyway, once a, once a fan, I know you can't see it, but one says fan, one says herm, and the other one says common. Like I said, I ain't trying to be no tech teacher. I'm just trying to show you how to get out of trouble. We, we, we out here trying to make money. We, we business man. But uh, but this is a part of business right here. You gotta know how to do it. So the one that says fan, and a lot of times the one that says fan, they got the less, uh, the, the least amount of prongs on them, or terminals, or spades, whatever you wanna call them. The common usually have four, the, the herm, which is the compressor, when it says Herm, kind of want to act like, uh, I like this called Hermetic or something like that. Uh, but that's Herm. It usually has three. The common or your contact, the, uh, the wire that goes to your contact is going to have four. And the fan going to have the least amount, which usually be the brown wire, is going to have two. So that fan, I, need, I needed uh, a 10. So all I'm going to do is use this... Uh, this capacitor right here that says five and just jumped it on there and uh, I find my common right here and jump this on here and then what I've been showing the video we're going to show you that this fan going to turn into a 10 remember I had uh, five for that fan so I'm going to check it with this meter right here first So I'm just going to go from the one I got coming on, let's say nine point something, turn that light on. So I got nine point, nine point nine seven, I mean. So that's pretty much a 10. So I turned that to a 10. So I'm just gonna uh, hook my brown wire up to right here and I get a 10. And you see, so th that's common. And then I'm gonna go to my Herm right here. The Herm and the, uh, and the common. And you see I got 49. It didn't change. Um, the hermetic for the uh, compressor or whatever. I still got 50. That's what I need, 50. So the vo uh, this five did not add five to the uh, compressor. It stayed at 50 because I don't have anything hooked up to this right here. The terminal where the compressor is going to go to. So I'm going to check it with this meter here also. The UEI meter. So we can get, get this one out of the way. So I'm going to go from here to my fan. I should have 10. I hope close to it. Right now I'm on ohms. But I'm, I'm going to go to microfarad. Hope I can turn that light on. You see, I got 9.7. See, I got 9.7. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna go to the, uh, I'm gonna go to this, my herm, where my compressor wire gonna go to. I think on that unit, it was a purple wire that goes right here. And I go to my com, I should have 50. And I got 48.
like I said, I, I mean, I don't think, well, I know I didn't, I didn't hook my uh, meter up, but you always want to check, um, and I didn't even check the 80, when I, when I first got to that unit, I mean, it was exploding and the wire was burnt, so I didn't even check uh, the capacitor, because I knew it was bad, you know, because the uh, terminals were melted real bad, and I think one of the wires probably popped off and hit the, uh, hit the chassis of the unit and probably trip that breaker. So I knew I had a bad capacitor. So, and I just read the label out there capacitor and knew I needed an 80 by 10, which I didn't have in my truck. So I was able to make one with the smaller capacitor, the five I had. So, all right, hope that cleared that up. I right, really had any questions about that. Uh, hope that helped. bonus. You may want to, um, so I still got the 50 by 5, and this a 10 right here. This was a 5, this a 10 right here. So you may have a compressor that needs a uh, 60 by 5, and you'll do the same thing. So, this a 50, and this a 10, so you want to turn this into a 60. I go to my, uh, you go to the contactor or the common, put it on common. And this time, instead of fan, I'm going to go to my herm. And I go over here to this 10 right here. Now that'll make, um, that'll turn this into a 60 by 5 compress uh, uh capacitor so i just go and just double check it you want to go to here but well, this is my herm right here you want to go to herm then i go here you see i get a 58 you see that so i got a 58 so that turn turn that capacitor to a uh, to a 60 and then that purple wire that was on that unit I had I landed right here on that 60 and that fan that's this is my common right here we act like that fan only needed a five so I put that right here and you see I have 4.6 so I have my brown wire straight to the fan it's just calling for a five no so if you had a 50 right here and that's all you had but you had a let's say this was a 20 and you needed a 70 by five you'll do the same exact thing and that'll turn this capacitor to a 70. So, so that's uh that's that's how you get get yourself out of sticky situations sometimes instead of running away to the supply house or like like I was just working that job over the weekend, no supply houses open. I can get a family cooling, you know, that night. Hope they have.